Hey, Revolve Bible Church, Pastor Jake here. Thanks for tuning in to this third installment of Five Minute Connect. We're looking at the power of God this week. La uh, yesterday, we looked at the first Greek word, dunamis, which you can find down below. Uh, the day before that was a general introduction. I encourage you to check out those two videos. For today, we're looking at the second word, which Paul gives here to describe the power of God in verse 19, which is the word working. And it's the Greek word energia. The, the power of God here is, it's life-giving. It is a power that is energizing. It is not only a power that, uh, that, that creates in what we see around us as we can go back to Genesis and see uh, from the scriptures, God working, God speaking, uh, creation into existence. Uh, but this can also be applied in a spiritual sense. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where Paul talks about that the same God who spoke light into existence is the same God who speaks uh, light and life into the heart of the believer, those whom God grants faith and repentance to. This is something that is marvelous to think about when we think about the power of God in regeneration and giving us new life. Not only does God's power manifest itself in um, breaking the forces that were once our masters, speaking of sin and, and Satan and death, but it, the power of God also reveals itself in giving us new life, a new nature. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus, transformed from the inside out. That didn't happen um, with, with just any kind of power, but by the power of God. And so as you think about today, your own testimony, your own uh, experience of being converted to Christ, you can attribute God's energizing, life-giving power brought by the Spirit of God who has taken a dead person and made them alive to Christ. May God richly encourage you as you consider and dwell upon and meditate upon the energizing power that lives in the heart of the believer. And, and also the, the energizing power that enables us to obey and live godly life, not just bringing us into uh, uh, Christ, but also causing us to uh, faithfully, with steadfast conviction, follow Christ. God bless you.